Are you ready? Yeah. Let's do this. Okay. Where's the shovel? This is what many Nova Scotians woke up to again this weekend. Mountains of snow, the most in two decades. High winds bringing whiteout conditions, roads treacherous. For some, this was the only way to get around. In the Halifax area, plows are focusing on major roads and bus routes, but many residential roads are still blocked as crews struggle to keep up. I heard there's a car behind there somewhere. There's a car. And as bad as it is on the Nova Scotia mainland, Cape Breton is even worse. Officials there declaring a local state of emergency. They're expecting up to 150 centimetres of snow before the storm is done. My house is completely um, covered with snow on all sides. The windows to my front of the front of my house, usually I have to get up on a ladder to go and clean them. Um, there's snow in those windows right now. That is everywhere. That is across our community. Some drivers who have ventured out are getting stuck in snowbanks and abandoning their cars. Officials are asking everyone to stay off the roads, and the state of emergency gives them the power to enforce it. It also gives the mayor the power to draft extra help. Um, now we can say anybody who has experience who's got machinery, we need your help and we need it now. And on Prince Edward Island, the blowing snow so bad, snow plows were pulled off some roads due to poor visibility, though they will keep trying to clear the main roadways. The last time the region saw this much snow was almost exactly 20 years ago, the infamous White Wan in 2004, a storm still talked about to this day. Shane, it's going to take days to dig out from this storm. What are the implications of that? Well, Transit Cape Breton won't be operating tomorrow. Municipal buildings there and in Halifax will be closed tomorrow. We've seen some elective surgeries have been cancelled. Uh, as well in PEI, a provincial by-election in borden Kincora could be postponed in the morning. But, Ian, uh, we have seen winter storms like this here before. We have uh, seen people out trying to clear their properties, but also some people out having fun, tobogganing, skiing, uh, even some polar dipping. This much snow is a rarity, so some people are just enjoying this moment. Shana Luck reporting from a blustery Halifax tonight. This storm has already dumped upwards of 60 centimeters of snow in the central and eastern parts of PEI. As Jay Scotland tells us from Charlottetown, there is more in the way. Well, over the last few days, this has been the story on repeat. We've been seeing steady snow and a strong northerly wind that's resulted in significant drifting and whiteout conditions with blowing snow here on Prince Edward Island. As of late this afternoon, preliminary snowfall totals over central and eastern areas have been upwards of 40 to over 60 centimeters, much less over western PEI. New Brunswick has been spared this one, but as we look across the water over to Cape Breton and eastern Nova Scotia, 70 to a Amounts uh, topping 100 centimeters have been reported, and that strong wind resulting in whiteout conditions and significant drifting. It has really been an issue here in eastern PEI. Plows have had to reduce service or be pulled off the roads from secondary roads in eastern areas. Businesses had to either remain closed or alter their hours to consider staff safety. Clearing has been a nightmare with the drifting. Plow moves through, and then the wind carries that snow back across the road. And looking ahead, we could look here on PEI to see another 10 to 20 centimeters with that strong wind gusting 60, 70, even 80 kilometers per hour tonight through Monday, finally easing as we look Monday night into Tuesday. And those additional amounts could be even heavier for parts of eastern Nova Scotia, 10, 20, locally over 30 centimeters of additional snow possible as we look to tonight through Monday. But again, that part of the country also starting to uh, see conditions improve into early Tuesday. We're not through it yet. Still more snow to come, and unfortunately, a lot on the ground for that wind to move. Jay Scotland, CBC News, Charlottetown.